Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I titled this video, A Glock That Even Glock Fans Are Laughing At. It, it is hideous. But to truly understand the purpose of this video, we need to know a little bit about the history. About 15 years ago, Glock experimented with frame colors. They had a dark brown, they had an OD green that nobody liked, and they had a flat dark earth. And the truth is, nobody really liked any of them. I remember I had a Glock 27 with flat dark earth frame, and people said, why'd you get that? That's stupid. You knew they had all black, and you went with that? And people didn't like them. The dark brown was kind of weird, and many people didn't like them. They didn't choose them. They only grabbed that one if they couldn't get the one in all black. And so Glock canceled all the colors. They went straight black. That's what their customers wanted. But as time went on and the handgun world evolved like it always does, colors became a thing. Many two-tones out there, many shiny stainless steel slides, and then others like this. Here we have a Desert Eagle in burnt bronze. Burnt bronze is a super cool color. Most of the time it's Cerakoted, but people warmed up to burnt bronze. I even have an AR in burnt bronze, and, and I think it's super cool, and a lot of people tell me that is a beautiful looking AR or Desert Eagle. Here's sand, not quite a flat dark earth, but sand. A little lighter tan color, it's, it's pretty cool. People like that, and people have warmed up to that. Very common with frame colors. And then this one is an OD green. It's a very common frame color. A lot of people are choosing OD green, and, and they say, you know, it's pretty common in the gun world to have OD green. And of course there is flat dark earth, that has become probably the most popular. Now, 15 years ago, if you put this on a Glock, even with a black slide, you would be laughed at. They would say, no, that is stupid. You shouldn't even do that. But what is happening now is making people, especially Glock fans, laugh even harder. And then here's a Desert Eagle in titanium gold with black accents all throughout. Now this would be considered extreme, but actually this would be considered mild compared to what I'm about to show you because not only did Glock stop frame colors altogether, but then they started adding frame colors and slide Cerakotes and different weird things even to a higher extreme. And in my opinion, with the model I'm about to show you, they went overboard. So let's check it out. In early of 2019, Glock introduced the G43X to the world, and it was highly requested, more magazine capacity. They had the single stack Glock 43, now they made an X model, and when they did, they introduced it with the Glock 48 and a PVD silver coated slide. And some people loved it, some people said they don't like it, they wanted black, Glock came out with black, and I actually thought about spray painting this, you know, shake, rattle, and roll, ch -ch -ch -ch, make it black. And then they also came out with optic ready models from the initial launch, they didn't, but it was right around that time where people didn't feel the need for every gun to be optic ready like they do now. But very popular carry choice, got a nice holster for it. This is a Vetter holster and works great. And people, people still dig it, all right? I dig it. What they did, and that it's in this case is crazy. Now they teamed up with glitter guns and they made these glitter guns that I think are, are just weird. Now I know there's a market for it, but they teamed up with glitter guns and, and here's what they have. Mali Blue. Look at this, this is hideous, okay? Now you may like Gucci guns. Some people like Gucci guns. I like it in some cases. I started out the video, I showed you some, but look at that. And even the magazine base plate. And, and, and people who dig this kind of stuff, they, they see something like this and say, okay, enough's enough. They offer an additional mag, but that's not glittered up. But it offers the same thing as the Glock 43X. It is a Glock 43X. And, and I figured there's somebody out there that's going to tell me, I don't care what you say about the glitter. That thing will take out a human life just like the other one or any other handgun at the time of need. And I understand that point. And they're not wrong. But good grief is this ugly. And it costs more. You have to pay about, 
and 100 bucks more to get the glitter. Now, they have this in, they call it rose gold and pink. They have it in other colors, but this one here is just outright ugly. It, it looks like a toy. And I asked my wife what she thinks, and she said, it's horrible. I asked my daughter. She said, it's very ugly. It, it does not belong <laughs> with your other ones. I said, well, that's true. And then even my mom, who was at our house, said, that looks like a little toy. So if it's made for women, those three women didn't like it. I suppose somebody would. Perhaps a man would. Let's see. Uh, what, let me say something good about it. This glitter, it has texturing. So it has texturing all throughout, really does. And if you look at the internals, I'll do this real quick. You'll see that it's Cerakoted all throughout and it's got a couple specks of glitter in there, but nothing too big. But it also fits in the holster just fine. Glitter guns is probably doing very well with their business, providing these for various Gun stores, all right, and and I suppose there's a market for this, but if you had the chance to get a Glock 43X and the only one at that store available is this, would you get it, or or, or would you get like this is this is a PVD code. This one is, exactly is not highly sought after, all right. People want the optic ready one, all black, whatever. But when, when Glock teamed up with Glitter Guns, they took their concept of eliminating all colors to a whole new level of this, and this is just outright hideous. And if you guys say, where'd you get that? I actually want it. Then you need serious brain surgery. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.